everything is a blessing. Okay? We're going to talk about that today. So I don't know if you guys remember, uh, last week we talked about this. This. What is everything? What is everything? You guys remember last week? 지난주 기억나요? What is everything? Last week we talked about what? What is everything? What is the most important thing? What is the most important thing? Knowing Christ accurately is everything. Okay, everyone repeat after me. Knowing Christ accurately. One more time. Knowing Christ accurately is everything. Okay? Knowing Christ accurately is everything. And this is the, our month, monthly covenant. So we talked about Christ uh, deeply starting next uh, last week. When you know Christ accurately, guys, that's when the triune God works continuously. Okay, you know, have you ever felt like you know? Oh, I I wish that God works in my life. I wish God pray you know answers my prayer. You know, I wish God take takes care of this. But many times you feel like. God is sometimes answering my prayer. Sometimes he's not, right? But there is a time schedule when God works continuously. Everyone say continuously. Hmm? When does God work continuously? When? When you know Christ accurately. Okay? Accurately. What is accurately in Korean? Hmm? 그렇지. 정확하게, right? 그리스도를 정확하게 아는 게 모든 것이에요. 왜냐하면 그때부터 그리스도 하나님이 성삼위 하나님이 지속적으로 역사해요. Continuously God works. Okay? So last week we talked about this. Everyone repeat after me. Christ is the creator. One more time. Christ is the creator. See, Christ was here already before the time of creation. Okay, look at the second picture here. 여기 두 번째 그림 보세요. Second picture. Jesus Christ created the world. When you look at John chapter 1, verse 1 through 3, it says, Nothing was not created except through Him. You understand? So, He created the world. Jesus Christ is not just a person who died on the cross. You understand? He's the creator. So, you have creator inside of you. Okay? Everyone say, I have the creator inside of me. Bless the people next to you, okay? You have the creator inside of you, okay? So when you pray to God, you are praying to God, and God works with the power of creation. God can recreate my spiritual state. Everyone say, recreate my spiritual state. That is the prayer. When you pray, you focus on God, your, your spiritual state is recreated. Why? Why? Because you have Jesus Christ in you. And who, ha who is Jesus Christ? Christ is the creator. Remember that, okay? Christ is creator. And the second thing is, repeat after me, everyone. Christ is the God incarnate. Repeat after me, please. Christ is the God incarnate. One more time. Christ is the God incarnate. Hmm. Christ is the God. What does incarnate mean? Incarnate comes from the word incarnation. Incarnation means God becoming human being. Okay? Let me ask you a question. Am I a human being or not? Am I human? Yes, I'm, I am ingan, right? <laughs> I am human, right? Am I God? 
Am I God? No, right? But Jesus Christ is, repeat after me. Jesus Christ is, guys, focus on me, okay? You got to focus on message. That's everything. Message time is everything. Because whether you realize or not, your spirit, it's the food, which is the message, okay? Just focus on me, okay? Your spiritual state will be revived, I guarantee. Okay? Re repeat after me, okay? Jesus Christ is 100% God and 100% human being. That's why he's the way to meet with God. 100% God, 100% human being. Way to meet with God. That's what it means. Christ is the God incarnate. So God became a flesh and he came among us, Jesus Christ, as you see the picture. And he's, he's God who came to us. Christ is the God incarnate. So today, number three, knowing Christ is accurately is everything, okay? Satan, guys, Satan bothers you, right? Satan t touches your emotions, your heart, your family, everything, right? Your sister, brother, right? But Satan will fear you. Satan will fear you when you know Christ accurately. Because Satan knows whether you know Christ or not. Okay? And you, you will not be afraid of Satan or the devil or the demons. You will not be afraid if you know Christ who's in you. Okay? And the number three today is, okay, repeat after me, everyone. The resurrected Christ. One more time. The resurrected Christ is alive. One more time. He's alive. Ah, this is really important, huh? The resurrected Christ is alive. Oh. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, so Christ who died on the cross is not dead. He is the creator God. He became human being and he became the way between you and God. Okay? So, guys, when you guys pray, So on earth, you, you are praying, right? And your prayer goes to God. Okay? When you pray, your prayer goes to God. God who's at the what? At the throne. And God answers your prayers. But how does this happen? Because there is a way. I don't know about you guys, but when I pray, you know, we pray, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, right? When I say, every time I say the name of Jesus Christ, I think about this. My prayer will absolutely go to God, and God will absolutely answer my prayer, because Jesus Christ has become the way. 100% God, 100% human. Jesus Christ is the way. My prayer goes through Jesus Christ to God. God answers my prayer through Jesus Christ. Everyone say, through Jesus Christ. Where is Jesus Christ? So you have the right. You can. You have the right to pray and receive answers. Okay? It's not about how you look, what people said to you. It doesn't matter. Don't be disappointed, remnants. People are people. You understand? People are people. Don't be disappointed. Even your parents, love your parents. <laughs> it's okay. Okay? And you are the same too. You're not that different either. So <laughs> people are people. But remember, you have Jesus Christ means so much like this. 
So much meaning. Everyone say, so much meaning. So much meaning. Okay, that you have Jesus Christ in you. So Christ finished his work on the cross and he resurrected from the death and he is alive right now. Everyone say, he is alive right now. All right? That's why this, is, this way is living and this is prayer. Why? Because he is alive. He didn't die. He died, but he resurrected. So his resurrection is very important. So when you pray, remnants, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, right? Think about the name, he is the way. Why? Because he is 100% God, 100% human. And how come it's available now? Because he is alive. Oh, I don't feel that way. It's okay. Your feeling, your feeling does not make this. If you feel you have a bad feeling, Okay, let me ask you. If you have a bad feeling, does this weight become shaken? You have a bad feeling? No. If you feel good, this weight is like so firm and steady? No. Whether you have a good feeling or bad feeling, the way Jesus Christ is complete. Repeat after me. The way is complete. One more time. The way is complete. It's never shaken. Okay? So how come answers don't come? Pray until God shows you answers. How much do I have to wait? Don't wait. Just pray. Okay? Just pray. God, you have to answer my prayer in three days. God is not your... Uh, servant right god knows the perfect timing when joseph was in prison he had some chances to get, get out of prison right but god knew the perfect timing at the age when he became 30 years old he has the legal age to become a government officer right that's when god gives the dream to the pharaoh and pharaoh calls him god has a perfect timing so don't even wait God has the repeat after me. God has the timing. We just keep on praying. Okay? Do you think God's not gonna answer you? God will answer you eventually. Don't worry about it. But when you experience that, you're going to have faith. More faith, bigger faith. Okay? Stronger faith. Let's go back to the slides. So he resurrected from death and he's alive right now. So remember this, okay? The resurrected Christ is alive. So number one was what? Christ is the creator, okay? Number two is what? Christ is the God incarnate, okay? God incarnate. Number three is the resurrected Christ is alive. Remember that. You know, it, it kind of sounds like I'm teaching you, right? No, I'm not teaching you. You got to know Christ who's inside of you so that you can enjoy this. Okay, so let's go on to our today's scripture reading. Let's read Matthew 25, verse 13 together, everyone. Ready? Therefore, keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. So, parable of the ten virgins. Uh, as you know, you know, Jesus is giving a parable where there's these ten virgins waiting for the husband, right? But they have the lamps, you know, the lamp. Hmm? But five of them have the oil, but five of them don't have the oil. So, what does that mean? Oil means Holy Spirit. Everyone repeat after me. Oil means the Holy Spirit. Very simple, right? So, some people, Jesus is talking about church. The three parables today, he's talking about church. At church, some people do not have the Holy Spirit. Not everyone at church is children of God, okay? Jesus is telling us, so there is no need to be surprised, okay? Everyone, repeat after me. There is no need 
to be surprised. To see the people who do not have the Holy Spirit. How can, how can she do that? You know, how can he, how is he not worshiping? He's like always playing around, you know? And some kids, like, they, they don't play around at worship time, but they're like always like falling asleep. They cannot listen. No need to be surprised. They don't have the Holy Spirit yet. So church is a field too. 교회도 현장이에요. Amen? Church is a field. Second parable is the parable of the talents. You know, some people have one talent, five talents, three talents, ten talents. But some people use their talents, right? Make it multiply. But some people don't even use their talent. Using the talent means the life movement. Everyone say the life movement. The life movement. So some Christians, people who have the Holy Spirit, they live for the life movement. But some Christians do not live for it. So once again, don't be surprised. Okay, remnants? <gasps> well, how come he's not living for world evangelism? Don't be surprised. Or oh, I'm living for world evangelism. Oh, you're not. No, don't judge them. Okay? At church, there are some Christians who do not live for it. Okay? So you just need to pray for them. Everyone say, you just need to pray for them. Okay, I think these are very important teachings that parents, parents should remember. And when their kids complain about the people at church, let them know. Because this is what Jesus said. Let them know. Don't be surprised. You just need to pray for them. Okay? Let them know. And lastly, sheep and the goats. You know, at church, there's sheep. When you look at John chapter 10, it talks about the relationship between the shepherd, Jesus, and sheep, and we are us, right? And Jesus in John chapter 10, okay, talks about how Jesus says, I know my sheep, and my sheep listen to my voice, okay? But there are goats, too. But remnant, repeat after me. Okay, this is the last sentence. <laughs> repeat after me, guys. It is God who put the goats among the sheep. Okay? It is God who put the goats among the sheep at church. Everything is a blessing to the sheep. One of the characteristics of the sheep is that they are so nice and they're so good nature and they just listen to the voice of the shepherd. In a way, they're kind of foolish, you know? So when, when, when the winter comes, winter is really cold, right? And when it's really cold, they just cling together, right? They just put themselves together and they go to sleep, right? But some sheep are underneath. Like what happened in Taiwan, you know? Some sheep is underneath and they die. They die. But this underneath, the ship that is underneath is so nice and so, you know, good nature that it doesn't know, you know what I mean? That's why the shepherd puts a goat, a goat that bumps into this ship, bumps into other ship, bumps into that. So the ships, the ship are awakened. Repeat after me. The ship are awakened. Okay, to awaken the ship. Okay? To awaken the ship. 정신 차리게 딱 해주는 거예요. To awaken the ship. Oh, I gotta pray. I gotta be filled by the Holy Spirit. Everything is a blessing. Remnants, remember, some people, 이거, 이거 사실 세신자한테 말해줘야 되는 건데요. Some people are shocked when they see something happening at church. Tell them there is no need to be surprised. And some people don't do anything, you know what I mean? They don't really evangelize and they don't, it looks like they don't care about evangelism. No, no, no. don't be surprised. You just need to pray for that. Okay? And it is God who put them. Everything is a blessing to me.
Everything is a blessing. So, you can enjoy everything. Through Christ Jesus. Everything is a blessing. So enjoy everything. Okay? Enjoy the people who don't have the oil. You know, meeting with them. Just enjoy. Why? Because that is a blessing to you. To awaken you. Enjoy watching the goats Enjoy. Don't complain. If you're complaining, you're not enjoying, right? Enjoy. Through what? Through Jesus Christ. Why? Because whether there are goats, whether there are people who don't use their talents or not, Jesus still is the way. And God listens to your prayer. Repeat after me. God listens to my prayer. There is no need to be surprised. Just pray for them. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much that you have, um, through Jesus Christ, you have um, given us the answer in advance. That in the last days, what's going to happen in the last days, Father, in the end times? I pray that you will bless all the remnants to see and believe that everything is a blessing. Even having the goats at church and all these people who don't use their talents and everything, there is no need for us to be surprised and just pray for them, Father. And what you want us to enjoy, Father, is the name of Jesus Christ. Because you just need one person who believes in the fact that Christ is the way, truly believes in the power of the name of Jesus Christ, and just keep on praying until your kingdom comes upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor David. Mm. At this time, we will give offering to God with praise. Uh, Jesus loves me and you. Okay, um, everyone, before we pray, I have an announcement. Uh, next uh, Sunday, we are having the day of uh, Holy Communion, right? So every department of Remnant Summit uh, Committee has decided to do the Holy Communion in their worship or join the entire church together, right? 
And our department, I talked with our senior deaconess, Lee, our director, and has decided to join the entire church. Okay? So you guys can join the first service, uh, the Holy Communion, or you can, uh, if you want to choose to participate in the you know, elementary school uh, departments, right? Chodung uh, uh, Sam If you want to uh, do the Holy Communion with them, you can join them. That's no problem, okay? Uh, but we are joining the church uh, with the meaning uh, that we are the church and then, you know, we are doing it all together with everyone uh, in the main first, first and second uh, service. Let, let's uh, pray. Father, we thank you that you have given us uh, the heart and confession that um, our life is the life of giving you all the glory and giving you all of our confession offering our lives to you, offering our body, offering our hearts and everything to you because you have let us, you have given us the grace to know Christ accurately, which is everything, Father. We are forever, thank you, forever in debt of that grace to you. Uh, Father, I pray that you will bless the remnants ever since they're young to know Christ accurately, please guide them, and to not to fall into any trials or tribulations at church, because church is a field, and it's the field of blessing. May you continue to guide us, uh, especially bless our families, so that each family can be a mission home, where they reinterpret everything with the gospel. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Send the worship with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Okay, everyone, enjoy your week. Everything is a blessing and enjoy your forum time. Okay?